All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today, leading up to the fifth episode for The Walking Dead Season 10. In this one, we're going to give our thoughts to our predictions on the upcoming episode, What It Always Is. And spoiler warning if you guys are not cut up for The Walking Dead, which is up to the end of The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 4. So I posted my review in the channel for you guys if you haven't seen it for Episode 4. Uh, really enjoy the episode, really like the episode, and from what I'm seeing so far, uh, most other people uh, did like the uh, the episode as, as well. So definitely check out the review if uh, you haven't seen it. So that leaves us with... Five, six, seven, eight. We have our back uh, half of the first half of The Walking Dead season ten still to watch, and I think it's been a pretty good, uh, you know, first half of a half of the season so far. And uh, how things are kind of getting uh, getting rolling here. I'm enjoying it quite a bit, uh, even though it is pretty obvious that there's a good number of uh, kind of those old school Walking Dead characters that we don't have anymore, but they're doing the best they can with what they have, and I think it's working for them. I think they're doing great. Uh, so what it always is, is the name of the uh, the title in this one. Um, the title makes me think of, you know, when Morgan leaves in uh, All Out War in the second half, when, uh, <laughs> is, it, is it Gavin or something? You know what it is when he says to him in like his hallucinatory, uh, you know, ghost state, when he says, you know what it is. This episode's called What It Always Is. So what is it? I don't know. What is it? Uh, is it that, uh, you know, things happen, uh, people die, it's a zombie apocalypse, so there's always stuff going on. I don't know. What it always is. We'll see. Um, maybe relating to one of their philosophies and that kind of the way they have to kind of behave and the way they have to live their lives uh, in that environment now because they have been in the zombie apocalypse for uh, what is probably about a decade or so, depending on how you want to count it. Uh, with all the time skips and everything. So certainly you have people that are getting set in their ways and set in their philosophies. Certainly Alpha is uh, in kind of that animalistic whisper philosophy. And Negan probably has his own as well too. So the episode description is supplies go missing from Hilltop. Negan is idolized by an Alexandrian. Ezekiel holds a secret. So this one is fun. Um, so uh, Negan is idolized by an Alexandrian. So it looks like probably Brandon, who is the guy with the, uh, <laughs> if that's his name in the TV series. That's, that was the character's name in the comics. He's got the uh, the spear, and he's the one who's kind of been uh, guarding or watching Negan as he's been working in Alexandria. It sounds like Negan has himself another fanboy, <laughs> except this time a fanboy in the series that is uh, that has probably helped him escape. And uh, you can see him in the next on, which is just the promo video for uh, the episode, where he says, uh, Brandon says to Negan, or whatever his name is, uh, you're fast. It took me forever to catch up. Uh, so it looks like Negan is trying to lose Brandon, but maybe he can't. So uh, I get the sense that Negan probably has no use for Brandon. Maybe he doesn't like Brandon, uh, because Brandon is, of course, the one who was kind of guarding him around for who knows how long. It could be years at this point. And um, you know, is telling him to go back to work, Negan, and stuff like this. Right? Everybody hates that. There's nobody who likes someone being like, whether they're older, younger, whatever. No one likes, you know, whip, uh, being whip managed like that. Like, get back to work, you know, this kind of thing. Uh, so, you know, is it possibly time for Negan to get some vengeance after uh, befriending Brandon and Brandon helping him escape? Even though Brandon likes him, will Negan allow uh, Brandon to just kind of, will Negan turn on him? Or will he try to lose him? Or will he allow him to stay? And then, and then we'll see uh, what happens after that. So, uh, so that's the uh, description. Ezekiel holding a secret. Not sure. Actually, not exactly sure what they're referring to as that. Uh, but we do see in the next on or in the sneak peek that uh, Daryl asks him if he wants to hear about Carol. And he really doesn't at this point. He's uh, accepting the situation and he's no longer uh, going to be, you know, uh, interested in, in finding out what's going on with Carol or what's happening with her. He's kind of past that this time, which that's good. That's good for him, right? You got to, you know, he's got to do that. So uh, supplies go missing from the hilltop. So someone's stealing from the hilltop. I guess we'll see uh, what that uh, amounts to. I'm not sure how much they're going to use that for. It's in the description, but we haven't seen that much of the hilltop this season yet. 
Could Sadiq be stealing supplies because we know he's going there in this episode? I don't know. Um, or is it someone else who's a part of the Hilltop who's uh, possibly uh, a traitor too? Uh, I guess uh, the whole talk about someone possibly being a spy or possibly being a traitor in the Joint Survivors with the Whispers being such a prominent and powerful threat is probably not going to go away. It's probably going to stay. It's probably going to continue. And... Um, Maybe there'll be even more than one, and maybe it will be worse, because you got to think that uh, when it comes down to it, when things get really bad, people are going to look after their own selfish interests rather than the interests of the community or of the group. They're going to all turn on each other and uh, eat each other. Isn't that a... Uh, <laughs> these people eat each other. That's a Walking Dead quote, isn't it? Um, so, uh, yeah, the next one, really cool. Then you have Kelly being attacked possibly by some walkers. And I kind of feel bad about this one because uh, I'm hearing from articles that the actress who plays Kelly is also has some hearing problems too, which I didn't... I guess dumb me was so distracted by Rick and everything that was going on in season nine. I didn't realize that. I thought she was just acting and that that, that was what it was. But I feel bad now because after finding out that she actually possibly does have some hearing issues and that kind of thing. So there was an article about something to do with security, possibly at uh, maybe they didn't know she was uh, giving her a hard time. Maybe they didn't know about... Um, you know, her, her disability and that kind of thing. So I feel awful about that. Uh, you know, and so Connie and, and, and Kelly, um, you have to, yeah, you definitely have to sympathize with that. That, that sucks for sure. Um, so then you, and you do have a scene where it looks like, uh, Daryl will be, uh, seeing Connie at least a little bit here and he's learned how to sign. So that's cool. And I've, I learned, you know, talk later, right? <laughs> I didn't know that one. So, uh, you know, we can learn some sign language watch walking day. I guess he had the book in his back pocket during the premiere episode. So he's learning how to sign for her so he can communicate with her. So that's, that's cute. And, uh, so she's tracking something and then maybe she, accidentally goes into whisperer territory alpha says that the border you have to be patient the border will crush them it takes time um and uh so beta maybe wants to kind of move in but um what michonne said could also be true which is that alpha doesn't want anything to happen to lydia so she's kind of systematically you know kind of putting on the pressure hoping that people will turn on each other or they'll leave or they'll do whatever and um then maybe she can just come in and take what they have, take the communities for herself, uh, you know, possibly maybe use them in some way or at least get Lydia back without uh, without losing uh, losing face to the whispers, that kind of thing. Uh, like they, you know, the, the communities collapse and then she can go in and be like, oh, she is alive, whatever, they took her, all the, you know, and then make them the villains, that kind of thing of, of that story for the whispers side of things. So uh, good stuff. We also see Gamma's going to be in this one too, some more with uh, Thora Birch's character who I think is a good bad guy so far. Because um, I hate her right away, which is that's kind of what you want. Maybe you're you can maybe argue that your best straight villains uh, people hate. Um, you know, so that's kind of what you want. You kind of want people to hate Gamma, and, and I do. I don't like her already. Uh, so that didn't take long. So she's doing her job, right? If we hate her, she's doing her job. Um, the sneak peek, uh, you've got Daryl riding into, I think we're calling it the King Top now, right? <laughs> the Hilltop, led by King Ezekiel, so the King Top. Uh, you've got Sadiq as well coming too. You've got Connie waving. You've got uh, Ezekiel, no sign of Negan, the infirmary. Uh, so Sadiq is going, whatever you need. And then you have uh, the uh, scene I mentioned about uh, Ezekiel with Carol and uh, uh, Daryl and being like, no, no, he doesn't want to know. So what it always is, man, uh, Negan possibly meeting um, Alpha or Beta in this episode, maybe at the end, or maybe in episode six. I hope it's I hope it's this episode because I think that'll be really fun if Negan sort of uh, you know maybe Negan and Brandon we'll see what happens with that possibly. Um, Across the border, stumble into Whisperer territory. The Whisperers stumble across them, and uh, we possibly see uh, Negan meet Alpha at the end of the episode, or Beta, or one of the two. And if if they do that, if we get to see that, that is going to be awesome. So I'm hoping. Here's the hoping. Episode five is the episode because then we'd at least have a couple episodes of really cool, you know, Negan interacting with with the Whisperers and just kind of everything to see how that would go is just awesomeness for maybe for Brandon as an in-universe fanboy or an out-of-universe fanboy myself being a huge uh, a Negan fan, of course, as you guys know. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your predictions below. Do you think we're going to see Negan finally meet Alpha, finally meet Beta in this episode? Or do you think, uh, no, it won't be just yet. It'll probably be episode six. If you like this video, please sum it up below. You can share, you can favorite, and subscribe to the bottom left if you're new. That's it for this one. See you guys again soon for another video. As always, it's Trev. Same peace. Later, guys. See you soon.